So she woke up a lot earlier than I usually have her wake up. Let me turn off the fan. Uh, so you guys saw a little bit of my morning routine. This morning, oh my God, I was so disappointed in myself. It, it was mommy mastermind and last night I started sleep training Malia again. And it was rough, but we got through it. <laughs> and she woke up like around 6.15, 6.30ish. Not necessarily the time I want her to get up, but I didn't want to keep trying to put her down. She literally like was holding on to me. She didn't want to go back into her crib, but she was still tired. So I just held her for about half hour or so. But um, I need to finish sending this email. Yeah. Yeah, mommy has to send this email real quick. And, um, I didn't want to. But, day one, done. She slept better than she did last week already, one day. We did have some tears. Yeah, but you're a happy girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me send this email. Can you fix your pants? Yeah. I know, your pants are really long. Yeah. Why do you look like you grew overnight? Yeah. You got a lot to say to the people? Yeah. Really? Are we going to go make breakfast and cook daddy some breakfast? You gotta help me with the laundry because I was supposed to do the laundry before you woke up. And we just gotta adjust, right? Wow, you're fixing your pants. Go ahead, do it. You got it. Yeah. I'm gonna clean my email, then I'm gonna make breakfast for my husband and Maria. Girl, I gotta clean my email real quick. I got way too many in here. It's driving me crazy. Um, and then I gotta do my laundry, clean the kitchen, and pick up the living room a little bit better. I wanted to do that before Maria woke up, but I gotta adjust. This is what motherhood's all about: adjusting your expectations for your day. Um, last week I had a really rough week because I was not getting anything done and it was driving me crazy and my husband was not understanding and you know in his mindset he has a lot of like childhood trauma where it triggers him and he wants to protect Malia and I completely like 100% am for you know working through that with him but like sometimes it gets to a point where it's like unhealthy for me like where I feel like I'm not getting just a moment to myself and that's not healthy in motherhood so you know I'm being very intentional like I said this morning I woke up a little late which I'm so disappointed I might disappointed with mommy mastermind I'm gonna see if I can meet, uh, set an appointment with these the girls that were there um yeah so I didn't 
I didn't actually tell you the story. So this morning, I was supposed to be doing Mommy Mastermind. If you guys do not know what it is, it's just a mommy group that I created. And we just get together, chat, and it's a couple of girls. It's not a lot of women yet. But I truly enjoy that time. I know it's God's divine time. And... Girl, why are you being so dramatic? Yeah, you want another book? How about these looks? Yeah, those are your favorite. You're welcome. You're welcome. And, um... And, um... With the whole sleep training thing, last night I had the... So I have one at night and I have one in the morning. There are very sacrificial times. Like it's an Eastern Standard Time and it's 6 a.m. that time. And it's 10 p.m. Um, on Sunday nights. And it's just a time where I know your kids will be sleeping. So... Since your kids will be sleeping, you don't have to worry about taking care of them, all that stuff. It's just really a time to unwind and be a mom and talk to someone about your goals and things that you want to accomplish. So this morning, I forgot. I was up a couple times last night getting my Leah done and she went down really good. But I don't know what happened that I put my head down at 2 and I didn't pick my head up till 4.30, which 4.30 my time is 6.30 eastern standard time so i was really disappointed in myself i can't believe i did that i truly cannot believe i did that so i individually messaged the girls and i apologize i told them and i know they understand because it's motherhood but man i was so upset i truly enjoy that time i truly enjoy getting together with other moms and if you're interested in joining I'll have the email link down below. All you gotta do is sign up and I send the link weekly on where to sign up for Ooh. Mommy Mastermind. Yeah. Here, read this book. This one's about the monkeys. Mommy's just cleaning her email like once she cleans her email she'll be a little bit more clear in her mind and that will make her really happy so read your book and I'm just gonna clean her email and we're gonna chat in a few minutes So thinks that Malia is going through a sleep, sleep regression. She's never gone through this before or never to this extent where she's barely napping. She was only taking one nap a day and um, I don't know it's just completely different. She never like she doesn't take this long to adjust to sleeping and she was struggling right now to go to sleep with me holding her so and she's exhausted like you guys saw her face like homegirl is tired she's not like it's not that she's not tired so i'm gonna keep fighting through i'm so happy that i spent time with god this morning because that is what keeps me grounded like through these moments and frustrations when my leah is just like on a hundred and i just can't like my mental needs jesus like on a hundred i'm not lying because it's hard it's hard to remain your composure and you're just like trying to deal with another person's emotions and yes she's my daughter 
I'm not I'm not just saying another person's emotions, but I'm just trying to point out how hard is it is because it's just another human. Like it it doesn't matter if it's your child, if you're going through something, it's hard to adjust. So I'm glad that she's down for a nap. I hope it's at least an hour so that she can get well rested. It's not even about me anymore. I just feel terrible. I know she's not well rested and I know that it's making her sleeping so much harder. So I'm hoping she has a really good nap right now. I'm going to take advantage of this and edit this video just like a mom morning routine. <sighs> this is like real life. I'm not trying to make it like glamorous this is not glamorous momhood is not glamorous so when you see videos and you're like trying to match up and be realistic with them it's not okay it's not it's not it's hard for me to even vlog um because it's just hard it's hard and I just want to encourage any mom out there that are watching videos, that are just feeling consumed in motherhood and thinking that you're a failure. You're not, okay? You're not. This mug is hard. This mess is hard. Everything gets easier because you get stronger and you understand, and something bit me. Um, and you understand and get stronger so I encourage you guys to have a solid routine in the morning for yourself so that you can truly be patient with your children right now I'm gonna be showing you guys so before this video ends I'm going to be showing you guys these blackout shades that I ended up buying they're paper but they work amazingly if you're looking for something on a budget um, blackout shades on a budget I highly highly recommend these so I'm gonna link them down below and they're going to be in the next slide. I'm gonna show you how they work because I put them in my guest bedroom and they are in Malia's room also, but they work amazingly. Six come in the package and I highly recommend them. I hope you guys- So really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys these um, blackout shades that I bought. They're paper, right? So they do bend. I traveled with these so they're like a little dang banged up because I brought them for my sister's house. Hold on. Um, so they come with an adhesive, right? Um, they come pretty big. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact standard size, but you get six of them in one. You guys see how bright this room is? This is my guest bedroom. Um, sometimes I lay in here with the baby and I hate how bright it is. I bought these when I was at my sister's house because her room was so bright that I was staying in and I was like, okay, I'll take the rest of them home with me. And I use it for Malia's room with her blackout curtains because her blackout curtains aren't the best. So I'll show you guys. This is the before, right? It's super <laughs> duper bright. I'm going to show you guys now how easy it is to put them up i do have to trim them a little bit because it is a little too big but i'm going to show you guys how i put them on and how easy it is and honestly if you do not want to spend the money on blackout curtains i highly recommend these um, i know that blackout curtains are expensive which is why i don't have curtains here right now um but it's so bright here in south dakota and if you're looking for them for your nursery i'm going to show you guys malia's real quick um i'm cleaning so i cleaned her room you guys this is her blackout curtains right and i put these there because even with the blackout curtains you will still see light but this really shuts it out um it's easily to put up you guys see how dark it looks it looks like it's nighttime in here now um with the blackout curtains let me show you guys um i do have to adjust it just a little because like i said i was just vacuuming in here but if you adjust it perfectly i would bring that all the way up um it keeps falling down Anyways, I'm going to show you guys with the other room, but you guys see, get the gist, it's super dark in here. Um, it's super helpful in the winter time 
because um, you guys know, I mean in the summertime, because you guys know how bright it is. So, we're gonna put these up in here. I'm little bit of light coming into the side but I mean this is night and day literally so if you're looking for something to solve your blackout skirt curtain problem this it doesn't look that bad and honestly it goes like that I'm gonna show you one second this is what they come with little clips like this super simple and what you do is that you go you crunch it back up and you pinch it and you're able to use the shades just like so And it looks like that like I said it's pretty simple super easy I'll link it down below for you guys because it's a lifesaver especially if you are on a budget I think six of them are like 28 bucks or something like that I'll link it down below um, it is my Amazon link so thank you so much for using it but honestly I highly recommend them uh, they do bend easily like I said it's paper but it does black things out so if you're looking for something that's going to like nine times out of ten work 100% this is it I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time